All right, everybody. So today we are working on our 1961 Aloha truck bed camper that you see behind us that Liz and I just recently purchased. We got some electrical upgrades, a few solar panels to put on the roof, mm -hmm. and we really want to bring you guys along in that whole process. Yeah, let's do it. So we got this stuff called butyl tape, and that is what is going to seal the holes that we're about to put in this, um, oop, dropped a bit, with these big two inch self tappers. We really don't want this roof to leak, and this is supposed to be the proper way. You know, you put this in between the bracket and the hole you're about to drill, drill right through it, and it's supposed to seal everything up. All right guys, so we have the top all sealed up here. This little through the roof bracket or, you know, cover worked out really good. It's all weatherproof. I did some really strong uh, silicone. That's actually high heat silicone. We didn't have any others, um, but all weather silicone. So it should work out just perfect. Um, went through and did all the bolts as well. I still have two bolts that I need to do over there. So let's jump over to that side. So the other side. Okay guys, up next is to get this charge controller mounted to the side of the camper on the inside and get these wires through them, right? Yep. And then to the battery. Up two. Up two. Cool, so that I think was the biggest project that we had for electrical wise today, right? 
Uh, I believe so. Yeah, the rest is just kind of knick-knacky stuff. Uh, should be able to mow right through it. Mm -hmm. Cool. Nice job on all that. That's awesome to have that set up. It's the solar panels working, battery's charging. Yep. Kind of good to go on that. Yeah, up to 200 watts, you know, in ideal conditions. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Stoked I mean, I see the sun shining, so. Yeah. We'll see. Next on the list is this uh, power splitter thing. We got three 12 volt cigarette lighters and four uh, USBs and hopefully it displays the power, like the voltage on the front here. Um, we're actually just gonna clip this end right off and hardwire it just to the battery cables here uh, off of the charger. Brand new device, already cutting cords. Yeah, I don't know if I should have done that. It's not exactly what I was expecting to see inside. If we're being totally honest. <laughs> Babe. Um, I was expecting two wires in there. And yeah. that's kind of two wires, but not exactly. See? Well, do it and see if it works. I can probably make it work. Let's see. We're gonna make two wires. Okay. Are you helping? All right, so that was a good idea doing that. We, a lot of times we, especially when we're filming and doing all that kind of stuff, we have a lot of electronic stuff that we have to bring. So to have something to charge it up, like super handy is a really good idea. Yeah, thank you. You're um, welcome. We have some like Velcro, sticky Velcro coming. So this should stick right to the wall or, you know, we'll mount it up somewhere or another in here. So for now it's just gonna hang there. Um, and yeah. what is next? We got a few charging ports. We're gonna put a charging port on the back and an outlet for the uh, refrigerator, I guess yeah. it is. Oh yeah, that'll be good. Yeah. Um, I was gonna mention too, if any of you guys are interested in these little gadgets, um, they are all linked in the description below. Mm -hmm. So if you guys have campers or whatever um, that you like this little electronic stuff, then just head down there and you can click on that link. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so the next thing we are wiring in is a standard 12 volt plug. It's going from the battery um, through these little cupboards all the way up here, and it's going to be running our little refrigerator that we just got. So that's what this white cable is for. 15 amp cable, the most we should ever even come close to having in here is 12 amps. Um, but yeah, we shouldn't even come close to that. That's only if we're charging and the refrigerator is running at the same time. We're hoping that the solar panels keep up and we don't have to run the generator a whole bunch. Yeah, that would be ideal, but you can't change the weather. So we want to have at least a couple of options. For your reference. Black is ground, white is hot. Yeah? Yeah. Feel it? See where it comes out? It's good. Good? 
Go for it, yeah. Cool. Should yeah. we cool it down? It's, uh, yeah. I guess so. This is this cool little mini fridge type thing we got. You can have it sitting down flat or have it up like a mini fridge. Um, kind of cool. It's called the Coolatron. Cool. Mm -hmm. Nice cut here. Thanks. Looks good. Does it fit? Michael, figure out how it's to gonna make it. It's going to do the other fit. way. So it look, just looks a little nicer. Just like that. We just have to keep stuff in there, you know? Yeah. Whenever we get there. You know? Yeah. Cool. Cool. So that is a massive upgrade to our electrical system and especially an upgrade just to the electrical system in general on this from 1961, mm -hmm. you know, truck bed camper to now being pretty much self-contained while the refrigerator is running. Right. <laughs> pretty freaking cool. It's being charged cool. by the sun right now. It is a nice sunny day. Well, mm -hmm. it turned into one at least. Yeah, finally. So the panels are up there charging, charging the battery. The fridge is going. Yep. I think like, I feel super good about that. That is like... Yeah, like you said, an awesome upgrade. Yeah, so over 200 watts of solar panels. We're pulling about 48 watts when the refrigerator is running. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll have to see how that works out. We do have plans to add probably two more batteries to our system here and uh, just to have kind of more of a, a bank there. Right. Um, we know this battery will run it, but we just don't have a ton of time, I don't think, you know, four or five hours or so. Right. Yeah, so one, once we had more batteries though. Those extra charging ports are super slick too. So we can now charge the camper from the outside with the generator down here. And then the port for the refrigerator is just working perfect. Yeah. Um, the other plus we saw to putting that outlet out here is, you know, now if we're sitting out in the chairs and we need to charge something or do something out here, we have an external uh, 12 volt outlet mm -hmm. uh, to plug something into. Yeah, so that's super cool. Yeah. I'm stoked about it. So yeah, super stoked. And then the LED lights. So, yeah. yeah, oh yeah, we did that last night. Yeah. Uh, what did we say? The It was wired backwards. So we were switching the regular bulbs to the LED bulbs. It wasn't mm -hmm. working, you know, so that was like kind of late last night. We were figuring it out, but yeah, ended up figuring that it was backwards. Got them all working. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this camper is turning into a pretty mean little machine. I know, we we're super stoked. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. We appreciate y'all watching. As always, everything we've used is linked down below to Amazon. Yeah, thank you guys. We very much appreciate it. See you later. See you guys.